one of the things that I cannot accept is when people tell me that they want kids because they want grandkids. Yeah. Oh, that's one step. Or they're ahead. like, who will take care of you when you're old? That's going to come <laughs> up in the Chinese New Year. So it's those two main things. It's the legacy thing and the insurance thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you have kids too. And both are really dumb reasons. So. <laughs> so what's your main reason for not wanting to have kids? I come from a standpoint where I think if you have a kid, uh, it should not be for you as a parent. It should be for, for the kid. Our kids are actually having a good childhood. I have nieces, they are, they are studying or doing from 1 to 10. And they're seven or eight, that's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna just, just jump in classes, right? there. Yeah. You just jump in there, that's not the kid. That's their parents. True, true. Yeah. yeah. You know, and but, I think. But see, that's, yeah. the, that's the fear, right? Because as a parent, it's like if everybody else is doing that, it takes a lot of guts to say, no, I'm quite sure this is not it for my kid. If I had had a child in Singapore, I think I would spend a lot of my time protecting that child mm -hmm. to have the space to grow as mm -hmm. much as possible to have the freedom to be themselves. But my number one was, I'm not sure. I was always undecided. I don't know about yourself, like whether you have felt that way mm. when like someone has brought up this topic. Have I been made to feel like I'm making the wrong choices? Yeah, or like as a she, woman? Like someone I just met for the first time, right? I'm not like super comfortable in being there right? and say like, no, I, I for sure, for sure. kids. I think it's quite <laughs> rude. Mm. <laughs> To actually inquire of someone whether they are fulfilled or not, inherent to that, you're already making a judgment. Mm. You, know, are you, are, you know, have have you had a fulfilling life? Because you didn't. <laughs> exactly. Like, well, actually, yes, I have. There are different ways about for bringing happiness into society. I still cannot wrap my head around why people call it a selfish choice. Mm. What do you say to people who tell you that not having kids is selfish? Slap them in the face. Oh, Let's right. put that on record. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll just put the tea back here. <laughs> it's almost like um, demeaning when you say that you are so selfish for not having a child. Like, do you know what it takes to make the decision like, yes, I want a child. Sure. And if you have a partner, both of you are responsible for that life. Mm. And you are responsible for raising it into a productive and responsible and kind and possibly smart human being. That yeah. is your responsibility. It is, yeah. It's all on you. It's, I mean, it's always on you. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Look at us today, we we'll probably blame our parents for a bunch of things. Yeah, right? exactly right. I would say for me, it's... I feel like I'm not maternal. And I'm not saying that I hate children, it's yeah. just that I don't have the affinity. Like, And I think that stems um, from the fact that also like, I wasn't really very close to my own family and I don't have a strong relationship with my mom. But I really like what you said about, you know, like, in the past, I, I feel like I've always lived my life for other people. So, you know, I started to just to take care of myself. Mm -hmm. My career is going a lot better, yeah. So, yeah. my view now, it feels like a kid is going to derail all that. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. The financials? Yeah, it's Singapore, right? That plays yeah. a huge part, okay. I think. Uh, and the fear of being left behind, like us young adults growing up and going into it, you start to get a sense that you definitely want to develop your career first. And that's a realism because if you don't do your career first, you don't have the means to, to raise a child. Here it's either you as a parent having to uh, have a lot of income to support that child in their education yes. or the child having to work really hard to be compet to stay competitive in school. Something has to, yeah, but like you want to give them the best chance. Right? Yeah. yeah, and I don't think Singapore gives the child the best chance in terms of every facet of their growth. I see a lot of people that I know, they work really hard to actually give that space to their kids. It's to the detriment of themselves. It, oh. is, is Singapore like a, a main reason why we feel not so hot about having kids? Yes. It is a big reason why. It's not the cheapest place to raise a kid. Mm -hmm. and like, we were living in, say, Denmark, which is very famous for work-life balance and mm. all the policies they have to provide for, like, both the mother and, and father, father to, be, yeah. yes, to be present in the child's life. My opinions might change. There, there's so many arguments, right? Oh, Singapore's birth rate is falling and you need to raise that. I think that argument itself is just straight up invalid. Overpopulation is such a big problem. Oh, yeah. Do not help him with having a child. I think in 20 or 30 years time, the world is going to be a much worse place than it is now. The capitalist system, and of course, climate change itself is also, also a thing, I think. Right. You're literally taking that problem, passing it to your kid and saying, it's yours now, it's your inheritance. It's, it's messed up, I think. I think that's one of the reasons why we both decided not to have kids, because it's like, 
let's let's think of the world now. Like we're in a pandemic. Mm. We really want to bring a child into a pandemic. When the time comes, I will gladly go and get my stuff. Stuff tight. <laughs> I think for me, if I were to fall pregnant at this point, it would have been divine intervention. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 51. You know, I've already menopaused, mm -hmm. and I feel secure enough in that sense to sort of say, these are my reasons, but ultimately, it's not necessarily a selfish reason. Mm. But I don't think it's selfish because having a child is such a deeply personal choice. Yes, it's, it it's not a matter of like, I want to become a mother mm. or I want my family to grow bigger. Yeah. It's so much more than that. Yeah. Mm. I think in the modern context anyway, families have gotten smaller and our needs have gotten greater. Yes, and, and I completely agree because our generation now is thinking about a lot of other things. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And satisfaction through many other means. Exactly. Yeah. There's no one road to happiness. Right? No, there isn't. There are many different ways for fulfillment. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah.